Hope by Anthony Horowitz. The town of Hope near Aberdeen is somewhere I have seldom been, but then it's not a tourist trap. It isn't even on the map. There's certainly not much to see. They've closed the local library because they said there is no need when no one in the town can read. They've got a pub and a hotel, but neither of them's doing well. The hotel isn't quite the Ritz. The beds have fleas, the staff have knits. And the only pub, the Rose and Crown, is easily the worst in town. The one theatre sadly gone, it burned down while a play was on. The critics thought the play so dire that all of them preferred the fire. The cinema is second rate. The films are always out of date. The last James Bond film that I saw had Bond still played by Roger Moore. The pavements are never clean because the council's far too mean to pay for cleaners and the park is only open after dark. The grass is lumpy, full of weeds and dogs can only walk on leads. There is a children's playground but when school is finished it is shut. The chief of police is 82. He can't catch crooks, he can't catch flu. The vicar surely won't be missed since he's become an atheist. The mayor sold his golden chain and then was never seen again. The local paper isn't bought because there's nothing to report. The school is like a concrete bunker. Matron's drunk. The head is drunker. Now living here must really stink. At least that is what you might think. But that is simply not the case. There is no more delightful place. The fun and laughter never ends. Everyone is best of friends. And all the residents agree there's nowhere else they'd rather be. So if you're feeling uninspired, sleeping badly, waking tired, if everything is going wrong, the day feels dark, the night's too long, remember all the people who have found the following is true. It's so much easier to cope if you decide to live in hope.